kind of gets you in the mood. Help yourself. I want to uh, set the room up so you can get up. Thank you. 
live when she's 75. Not her fault. Um, um, Non-licensed, uh, non-insured driver. He did it. Um, eight weeks in hospital is what she had. And she had infections and um, uh, and uh, allergies to pills, etc. Her other wives had very good nursing care, was sat up every day, um, uh, dressed, etc. And uh, interest shown in her. Uh, that was the early 90s, of course. 20 months ago, my mother uh, broke her second hip. She broke right hip the first time, kind of left hip. She lay 24 hours and hip set, so it didn't mend so well. She can only walk very hesitantly now on a frame. Before that, she was already working on a walking stick and many years had been on a frame as well. She didn't get better like the Queen Mother did after her hip operations. So I'm going to go from what happened in the hospital. And as I say, come to this uh, flip chart with here the hospital, the elderly in the middle, the respite centre, the home, and the residential care. And these are all the things I can think of, and there's many more, uh, that interfere with all these things and um, you experience when you've got somebody in the hospital or the respite care. And in fact, many of these things happen in every one of them. So that they're, that they're happening, but it doesn't actually matter where they are. The only thing is, perhaps with sound, it's quieter in the home, because you don't get all the sounds. For instance, food. Do they eat when they're at home? When they were good eaters? Or do they go off their food? Because if somebody's been left on their own and they can't get it out of the world. In the hospital, are they getting their food? Possibly not, because they're so infirm, they're so run down, that they, they don't eat, and the nurses haven't actually got time to make sure that they have it. And, and so that happens here, the food. They're still eating food, getting cups of cheese in these places as well. So I want to kind of speak about those places. Before I do, can I give you a questionnaire? I'd just like you to put in a sentence each on them.
as soon as possible. They will keep them on the catheter. It will destroy their waterworks. And then you are in to pads, all the different types of pads that be, can be got available, different between getting them, how much they cost, all the problems of toileting when they get home, for instance. So you can't keep them at home, you can't get out of bed at night time on their own safely to go to the toilet. So they have to go into respite care. For respite care, if your social worker does anything, and you can keep phoning them for as much as you like, I'm very sorry to say that, that um, um, at their best of intentions, so they don't get moved very quickly between these places, then they go to the residential care. Um, but as I say, my mother only got 